Docker model runner, is this an Olama killer? Because Olama was used to run the open source model locally in your system, but not now because we are having the Docker model runner. So my question is, is this going to kill the Olama? Because whatever you can do with the Olama is now available in your Docker model runner. So that's the real challenging part. But stay tuned on this video because at the end you will see how you can use this Docker model runner even with your open AI package of Python and everything in this episode is all about how to use, run and infer your open source LLM model using the Docker model runner because this is really exciting things and you can see the Docker model runner using these images or not images I can say the models directly from the docker hub they are verified they are really uh, safe to use and yes all of these things are available on the docker hub that means it's really powerful and this is going to change the way you run the model locally in your system so let's just start this video So welcome to Bitfumes, I'm your host Sarthak and this video is all about the Docker model runner which is going to change the way you run the open source LLM model in your system. And if you have seen my videos previously and if you have not yet subscribed, go and hit subscribe button. And if you like this video, don't forget to share this video with your friends and hit like, that's important. Okay, so what is this model runner, Docker model runner? So Docker is a really big name in the containerization and running your application inside a closed isolated environment called container and it was really mind blowing Docker is everywhere everyone is using from small to big companies but since AI is booming really fast and AI models, the open source models are really gaining attractions. Now Docker is diving into this AI world and now it can help you to run the models, the open source model in your system directly using the Docker desktop. Previously, we used to use the Olama, but you know what? Olama is a challenging thing when you want to do things on your server. That means if you want to move something on the production, that was a challenge, but not now because we know the Docker, how it works. And if we have the Docker, we can simply run any open source model on the server also. It says locally, that means in our environment, not using any other cloud or any other server like OpenAI or Cloud. Okay. so where we have the models. All the models are available on the Docker Hub. That means they are secure, they are safe, and they are powerful to use on your Docker model runner. So see, now we have the AI slash on the Docker Hub, which is listing all the amazing open source model you want to use. With this, you can start running the model on your system. So it says like a better way to build and run Gen AI models locally. That's yes, I agree 100% is true. To get it started with this Docker model runner, you must have the Docker desktop installed with the latest version in your system. So if I search for Docker desktop and I search here, I can simply install. I think I can go here on this part, download for Apple silicon if you have the silicon or according to your system once you have it then install it and check for the latest version so if you see here I am on the latest version but now things are starting if once you have installed the docker desktop and just go to the setting on the setting you can see we have feature in development section now at this point feature in development section go to the beta feature or if you are seeing it after uh, many months, it might be available somewhere else. So you need to figure out, but for now it's available here, which says enable Docker model runner. So I just hit this enable Docker model runner and apply and restart. Once we do this, we can open the terminal and here we can simply say Docker model status. This will going to tell us whether our Docker model system is running or not. Let's see. So if I do this, if you get this kind of message, that means Docker model is running and it says like Docker model runner is running. Okay, that's great. Now, since we have this, every command start from Docker model. Okay, let's see. So Docker model. Now I just want to get the help for this. Now, once we have this, we can see what are the things we can do. So with the Docker model runner, we can inspect detail of the model. 
we can list out all the models we right have we can see the logs what happening inside the model when you infer or when you run it you can pull new docker uh, model you can push new model you can obviously modify and push to the docker hub just like we push the images you can remove run check the status we just did and tag and check for the version so maybe let's check for the version version okay it says 0.1.11 okay cool now what next let us start with docker model list so list out the models we already have see i have two models available inside my docker model okay so how do i run these model i just need to say docker model run and every model start with ai so now you can see i have two model one is llama 3.2 other is a small m2 and this every model start with ai prefix so i need to just say like hey ai slash llama 3.5 which is already there not 3.5 it's 3.2 by the way and now i'm going to run it so here we have so i say hi what's your name okay now this is going to infer directly on my system and here we get the response uh, what's your model name i'm just asking it and it says i'm llama cool so this is how you run the model directly on your system and that is the power of this uh, docker model now what next so let's go once again i say docker and i just want to remove let's say any model so let's say i want to remove i just need to say model remove ai slash is small m2 if i do this it's removed and if i say docker model list and i just left with one model so what if i say docker model and i just directly say run ai slash small m2 just like if you have experience with the docker if you don't have any image in locally then it will going to pull if you directly run that so similar thing happening here if you don't have any model in your system and if you directly try to run it it first going to install it or maybe download it and then going to run it but if you want to directly pull any docker model so i say docker model pull and i can go to the docker hub search for any model let's say again i'm searching for deep seek and i can just say the name copy this or just copy the whole command which i already have here so i can just hit and it's going to download that model in my system this is a big model i believe and let's figure out okay this is a 5 gb of model and 4.85 sorry 4.58 by the way and this is good but you know what we never want to run any model or infer any model directly from the terminal what we need we need the curl command basically so here if you go on the docker model runner documentation if you scroll down you will find the curl command to run any model so we just have the small m2 model for our local inference and i can copy this curl command and i can go here on new terminal hit this now at this point if i try to run this it's not running because the host is not good mod model runner docker internal no not this so how do we get started and run this model in our system directly so if you just scroll up here it says if you want you can figure out the endpoint for the docker model runner for the container yes model runner docker internal is good but for host we need the local host 342434 uh, so let's copy that and here we can just change this from this one to oops not this i need to edit this so how do i add it oh that's already ran command so i need to just change like this and uh, here we go and let's try to run this it should work but if not we will going to figure out so again it says localhost port 12434 is not available so what's happening remember when we are started or enabled this model runner we have not checked this enable host side tcp so basically we need to define the port whatever port you define here will be available for your local model runner the docker model runner so hit apply and restart this is going to restart i might see oh it's, it's still working good 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 now let's try this once again 
So run this curl command and you can see it's now working it, since it's waiting I say like <laughs> we're working and very soon we will going to get the response from here. Cool, we have the response and this means we can use the curl command to run the model directly from any HTTP call. If this is true, then I can move you to the next amazing thing, which is using this model with our open AI package. So I have created three type of things which we can generally do with open AI. So if I chat with open AI, you can see it's using the open AI key. It has the model 3.5 and I have already asked it. And now if I once again try to chat with it, what's your model name? And it should give us that it is GPT-3. Good, good, good. Now I just want to turn from this to AI slash small m2. And here at this point, API key could be anything anything and here we need to provide the base url which should be the docker model runner url okay that's good now let's try to run again and now i ask what's your model name and this should give us something else but uh, it says something is wrong here what will be the case we will figure out very easily so maybe what i can do i can just uh, once again try it with hey and says not found maybe we are missing something so maybe what i can do okay so at this point we don't have to say chat completion why because we are using the open ai package and here we already have the chat completions so we just need to land till this point and also let's fix this typo it should be engines and then v1 and then let's try to run it uh, what's your model name and if i do this it says rocket 360 basically this is a small three uh, a small m2 bit by the way okay that's great so this is how you run this on your even on your open ai package now i can do this and also can have the structured output so i can just change here open ai thing to this engine and this time i'm going to use the model which is where is the model <laughs> let's search for the model yeah here now instead of a small llm i will say llama 3.2 this time and try to run this so it's going to be structure output and now describe person he is nice and you can see the response is in a structured output which is a json format that's really cool which is having the power of all the llm thing in the docker model runner now final thing is i want to show is not the structure output but the function calling so now function calling is also available in the docker model runner so if you just say what is the temperature in indoor and see right now i have not configured the real searching but see it actually started searching in the internet since i have not configured it it's not able to get the result but yes it can call the tool which is really beneficial if you want to have all of these amazing power of ai or llm model with your open source running locally using the docker model runner so that was really great and if you like my video just go and hit subscribe if you have not yet done that and don't forget to hit like button because this is really important hit like button because this is going to say to the algorithm that this important video so push it to everyone and now if you have any question just comment below if you like my videos then go to other platforms like linkedin x you can hit subscribe and follow me on these platforms See you in the next video till then. Goodbye.